In the world of storytelling, there is a unique charm to series that deceive you with their appearances. At first glance, these series might seem simple and whimsical, covered in vibrant colors and playful characters. However, Beneath the surface lies something far darker, a labyrinth of mysteries and horrors waiting to be discovered. One series that I believe masterfully executes this depiction is Akihito Tsukushi's Made in Abyss. This series beautifully juxtaposes a childlike fantastical exterior with the raw brutality of its narrative. Made in Abyss is a perfect example of how world building can be a tool not only to develop the story, but also to manipulate emotions and expectations. The story plays with the viewer's expectations by contrasting its charming appearance with a narrative of profound darkness, tragedy, and complex world building. Rico, the protagonist, is a bright eyed young girl with an innocent desire to explore the mysterious abyss, and the characters around her are equally lovable, especially her robot companion Reg. The world appears lush, inviting, and full of potential adventure, which lures us, the audience, into having deluded expectations for the journey to come. As Rico and Reg descend into the abyss, the series unravels the true nature of the world. World. A merciless, unforgiving place filled with unimaginable dangers. The deeper they go, the more the characters, and by extension, the audience, are exposed to the brutal truths about the abyss, ranging from horrifying monsters to the physical and psychological toll it takes on the explorers. The characters, despite being young, are forced to endure terrifying circumstances that explore themes such as trauma, death, and sacrifice. The contrast between innocence and horror serves to deepen the tragedy of the character's journey, making each painful revelation hit even harder. Ironically, this deception also reflects the theme of the series, which revolves around the dangers of curiosity just as the characters venture into the abyss without fully understanding its danger, we the audience are also unaware of the true depth of the narrative until it's too late. I believe the success of Made in Abyss is also largely due to its exceptional world building, which is both expansive and intimately tied into the narrative. The abyss itself is not merely a setting for the characters to explore, it is a living, breathing entity with its own rules, ecosystem, and mysteries. As the characters descend deeper into the abyss, the atmosphere becomes progressively darker and more surreal. The world building in Made in Abyss is meticulously detailed, with every aspect of the abyss serving a purpose in advancing the plot. For example, the curse of the abyss is a vital component of the world that influences the character's actions and decisions. The deeper one descends into the abyss, the more severe the curse becomes when they attempt to ascend it. This curse Curse is a brilliant narrative tool as it prevents characters from easily turning back, forcing them to confront the horrors that lie ahead rather than retreat to safety. The curse also symbolizes the cost of human ambition and curiosity, as the desire to explore the unknown comes with irreversible consequences. In addition to the physical dangers of the abyss, the series also dives into the psychological and ethical ramifications of exploration. The abyss is home to relics and technology from a lost civilization, which sparks a relentless drive in humanity to uncover its secrets. This obsession with the abyss reflects the darker side of human nature, our willingness to sacrifice anything, including our own humanity in the pursuit of knowledge and power. There are characters such as Bondrude, a scientist who conducts cruel experiments on children in the name of exploration, who exemplifies this theme, as his ambition drives him to commit unspeakable acts in his quest to unlock the secrets of the abyss. The very design of this abyss is also a commendable aspect of its world building. The sheer scale of the abyss creates a feeling of insignificance in the face of something vast and unknowable. The abyss is not just a backdrop for the character's journey. It is a central plot point in the story, shaping the narrative and the emotional journey of the characters.